everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about sealing your diamond paintings. And what I have been using lately is Mod Podge. And I have only used the Gloss Luster um, type of Mod Podge. And so that's what I'm going to be using. I've been really happy with that. And so that's what I'm going to be using today. Um, I have been having a problem with some of the diamonds coming off of my canvases. <clears throat> now, I store these in a portfolio when I get done. But I still have a problem with some of my diamonds coming off. And now, before I started this video, I went through and I looked and... <clears throat> excuse me I have found a couple of diamonds that I've had to replace but like right here um, I have another one that has come off and just kind of floated down on the bottom of the canvas that I need to just pop that right back on there <clears throat> so I'm going to use my tweezers and you know some of these diamonds you know they just like to float around and scoot um, I, you know, I keep them flat in my portfolio, but, you know, some of the canvases that we purchase, um, are not always the best quality. And so, over time, the glue tends to not be, um, as sticky and the diamonds will come off if you don't put some type of sealant on it. See, this one right here is starting to scoot up off of the canvas. <clears throat> now, I think I have gone through and replaced the ones that have come off of the diamond painting. So, I think I'm all good here. I do have, you know, they're a little crooked. They're not completely straight. I'm not a perfectionist um, when it comes to this craft. I just do it for fun. <clears throat> but I am happy with how this canvas turned out. This was one of my favorite pieces that I've done. And uh, I'm going to keep this one for myself. I've been really happy with this. <clears throat> One of the things I do want to share with you when you seal your diamond paintings, you need to make sure that you clean your brushes right away when you finish. If you don't, they are going to look like this. I accidentally left this sitting overnight and I did not clean my brush. So I ended up with the glue in the bristles and it has been a pain and you're gonna have to go through and <clears throat> and pick all the glue out of your brush now I'm mean, you know it can be done you know it's not gonna ruin your brush but it's gonna take a while to get it clean um, I like to use this type of brush to do my glue because it gets down in all of the little bitty crevices there when I do my first layer. Uh, some people only like to put one layer of glue down on top of their diamond paintings. Um, I like to put at least two layers of glue down. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. So I'm just gonna try to pick a little bit more of this glue off. Now I'm a little unconventional when it comes to doing my Mod Podge, okay? I'm not very neat. Now, I also use one of these little sponge brushes. This is very handy when it comes to getting your lines out of your Mod Podge, okay? And I also keep a pair of tweezers handy um, in case the diamonds start to pop up. Um, when you're putting your Mod Podge down, okay? So I like to start working in one corner and I just start pouring small areas. And I'm just going to brush this out, making sure I get all the way to the edges.
This is the fun part. Like I said, you can just, you know, you don't have to be precise when you're doing this. Just make sure you're getting in all the little crevices here and there. Smoothing it out and make sure you're getting the edges there. Now you don't want to brush too hard. You just want to make sure you get in all the crevices. <clears throat> now I have pets too, so, and I have a cat that likes to jump up on my table, so I have to be very careful if I leave a diamond painting up on my table that, um, that I don't get hair on my diamond painting. And if you do, you need to make sure you get all the hairs off before you start doing this. If you see any hairs on your diamond painting while you're doing this, um, just make sure you take your tweezers and remove the hair in the area and then just take your brush and smooth it back out. Uh-oh, see, now I have one little diamond that has come up right there. <clears throat> so let me pick this up. So I need to smooth this out. Let me see if I can see a hole so I can see where it came from. Where did it come? I think it came from right there. So what I'm going to... Uh-oh. Let me make sure. I believe that's where it came from. Is it a hole right there? No, it's not a hole right there. Let me pick it back up again. I think it's right there. So when that happens, you just take your tweezers and just pop that right back down in your diamond painting. And this Maj Podge is used, it's like a glue as well. And so that'll just hold that diamond right back in place. You don't have to worry about it. That's why you need to be careful when you're putting your Mod Podge on your diamond painting. And you want to work in small sections, so if that happens, you'll know where your diamond came from. Now this can dry kind of fast. I shouldn't probably have worked this big of an area, but I'm gonna go ahead and smooth this section out real quick. And then we're gonna use my other sponge here. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Normally I would have worked probably this much over and then go back with my sponge here and just smooth out the lines just across the top. And then I just take that little excess and wipe it off up there on a the part I haven't done yet. You see how that takes off the excess and smooths that out? Cause you don't want it having a bunch of lines in it when it dries. Okay, 
So let me turn this around. So you don't have to do that all in one, one direction. Oh, there's a hair. Let's see, where'd it go? There it is right there. So I'm just gonna take my tweezers. I'm not left-handed, so this is gonna be a little hard for me. Okay, so just get rid of that hair and smooth it back out. Now when I get done with this, I have another diamond painting I'm gonna show you that has only one layer of the um, Maj Paj. And then I have another diamond painting that has two layers of Maj Paj. And then I have a third one that I'm gonna show you. The second layer is a very thick layer of Maj Paj. And I just finished it yesterday. The Maj Paj needs to cure for about five days when you do it. Now, it feels dry um, after about 12 hours, but you're still supposed to let it cure for about five days. Okay, I'm not going to pour any more of that. I'm just going to scoot this on over here uh oh that looks like that's not really covered okay so you see i have gotten all the grooves in there covered and i'm just going to go back through and smooth all of this extra out i might even be able to put some of that back in my jar Okay, so there's that, <clears throat> and I will be washing this out. I'm not gonna leave that in there this time. All right, so I'm gonna set this to the side. So you've seen that, and we're gonna let that dry. Let me move this over. Okay, now this diamond painting that I'm gonna show you right here, this has one layer of Maj Paj and it's cured. It's been probably two days and as you can see <clears throat> it does have a shiny finish on it but the diamonds are not going to come off. Now this one right here has two layers of Maj Paj. Now you see how stiff this canvas is? That's from the Maj Paj. Now that right there is from two layers. Okay, so let me show you what the third one is. And this has got the really thick second layer of Maj Paj. If you can tell, this has got a very, very shiny coat on that. And that's the difference. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit and you can tell the difference. Okay, so those are my Maj Paj canvases. I am going to put the links below for the Gloss Luster 
Mod Podge that we use today. This one right here. Um, this is a 16 ounce. I'm also putting the link for the eight ounce. And also they have a matte finish. If you like the matte finish and not the gloss finish, uh, I'm also gonna put the link down below for that. Um, if you might be interested in using that and sealing your diamond paintings. All right, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.